I guess I got feverish with something or other. I thought that something I'd never seen was a show, a half hour show that had both black and white people in it because that's the way things really are. We don't make these sharp divisions, even though we live in our own little enclave. America is much more, America works because people are able to work together. And uh, I uh, had never seen a show in which black people and white people work together as a family when I know this happens. I mean, I know many people, regardless of what the uh, mores, what, 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 what attitudes exist about, let us say, adoption. Black people don't want you to adopt. White people, white people don't want you to adopt. Uh, it's, it's just totally nuts. When these kids out there, they, they need just a family. But there are things that have to be considered. And so I wanted to have a show in which you talk about all this, in which you have this, and you see people struggling with notions and ideas and prejudices they have one to the other. And so I played a psychiatrist who fell in love with an assistant. And she happened to be white. And I interviewed all these people, and she came to work for me, and she and I fell in love. Well, I wanted because she had two children, and I had two children. And I wanted to bring that together. But uh, I was a little naive once again in what could be tolerated. And it didn't work for a number of reasons. All the networks said, oh, we've got to do this. This is 19 so and so and so and so. Yes, let's get on this. And I began to get wind that they really didn't want to do it because it made people uncomfortable. So I told them many times, I said, why don't we back out of this and go another way? Oh, no, we've got to do this. This is 1986. Let's do it. And of course, we did it, and uh, somebody folded. We had been uh, cautioned to let the romance proceed gradually, and so that so that by the eighth episode was the first time we were going to kiss. I mean, you know, we had to make those kinds of considerations. One actress came in, I've forgotten her name, she's well known. She came in and she said, why the hell are you doing this gradually? There are two people in love, let's go, let's get, it. Let's get on with it. I've forgotten what her name is, but she, she Susan Anspach, I believe. Mm -hmm. She came in to audition for that part. I believe it was her, it may not have been, but I think it wasn't, and I'm sorry if it isn't. But it was someone of that stature who said, what are you pussyfooting around with this for? Let's do it, <laughs> you know. But we followed the advice of the network when we did them in order. Well, when they showed the shows, they showed them out of order. So that by the second show, we were kissing and the romance hadn't had time to build or anything. Mm. So it was hard for me not to suspect that that was deliberate. 